So it's early October. Um, it's the fall river salmon fishing season here in the Fraser Valley. Uh, but today we're actually not doing any fishing, but we are here at the Peach Wetlands. Yes. Right? On the lower Veda River. This is Natasha from the Fraser Valley Watershed Coalition, and uh, she's gonna tell us what we, exactly we're doing today. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so I work for the, the Fraser Valley Watersheds Coalition, and today is all about replanting the brand new wetland that's been created for salmon habitat. And essentially all the trees and native shrubs that are dug in, which we're talking over 3,000 plants, mm -hmm. um, with the help of over 50 volunteers, uh, we're just recreating this natural um, floodplain forest ecology. And what that means is we need to get the trees in the, the ground so that they can shade the waterway. The insects that fall off the leaves are what feed our uh, uh, wild Pacific salmon. And we're just recre recreating and reconnecting the floodplain. Right, yeah. okay. So this wetland right here runs into a spawning channel that you've created. I mean, the coalition has created. Mm -hmm. Eventually drains into the Veda River. Um, I guess the whole idea is for these fish to come back into the spawning channel, to spawn, and then the juvenile salmon will eventually spend however long they want to spend in the wetlands before moving out into the ocean, right? That's exactly right. Yeah. What's really special about this project is um, we're standing in one particular location, but it extends about five kilometers up from Peach Road mm -hmm all the way down to very close to the Great Blue Heron Nature Reserve mm -hmm. and it's thanks to year one which was completed in 2017 of building the first spawning channel which is all out of groundwater so we excavated the groundwater channel and that enabled the uh, flow or the water to then rewater the lower four kilometers of this uh, habitat right. and so it really is a step-by-step -step process okay. to restore the floodplain and right. the salmon habitat. Okay. So you, keep, you mentioned that it's restoring, it's rewatering. So this, um, I guess historically, used to be salmon habitat. That's right, Okay. Yes. And yeah. we just, you know, but it's it's gone for quite a while because we've diked the river, right, for flood control. That's right. Um, so now we just kind of bring everything back. And we have to think about all the other lenses or uh, values that need to go into restoration. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we were to remove the dikes and try and restore it to uh, a uh, hundred years ago, that's not really realistic in mm -hmm. today's world. Yeah. People need a safe place to live, they need a safe place to walk trails and to fish, and there's cultural values here, and so this project really is bringing all of those values to the table, layering them, and moving between them so that we can create salmon habitat, care for our culture, and provide recreational opportunities, and of course, uh, all the other pieces that fit into the puzzle. Right, and I guess most anglers who come out here to fish don't realize you know how much work it's being done around here. Um, this isn't just a hatchery, uh, I guess hatchery in the hands river. You know, fish are not coming back and get reproduced in the hatchery. But we're creating spawning habitats, so in the long run, um, it's sustainable. So the more salmon can come back and they'll spawn and they'll regenerate the population. That is always the goal, yeah. yeah. Uh, resilient returning <laughs> populations, yeah. most definitely. Yeah. So let's talk about the um, how programs like this is funded. Sure, yeah. yeah. So um, is it funded by private sponsors or is it, you know, is it public sec sectors or what is it? Well, this particular project uh, has been funded by the Pacific Salmon Foundation, which mm -hmm. is another uh, provincial charity. And we write grants and we leverage those grants with other grants, uh, like in this case, Environment Canada's uh, Environmental Damages Fund, and then uh, there's a um, memorial steelhead fishing derby called the Wally Hall Junior Fishing Derby where mm -hmm. anglers provide their uh, conservation dollars to our organization to leverage and match. And then of course we've got the arms of our volunteers that pitch in and help us dig in. And so we, we really value the donations that we receive. We write grants and mm -hmm. some of them are private in the private sector, some of them are corporate or government, and then we bring them all together and we marry them, and then we work out with our partners, uh, Fisheries and Oceans Canada, specifically the Resource Restoration Unit is a key player, City of Chilliwack, the Fraser Valley Regional District, mm -hmm. Green Road Par Depot, and there's many others that have actually donated either their time or uh, yeah. large wood, just all those little 
pieces that help create the big picture and yeah. get this project off the ground. Right, so every little bit's help, right? And it's nice to know that the angling community has some contribution in this these projects as well. Yeah. Um, we were talking about earlier how the Wally Home Junior Memorial Fishing Derby um, in the last six years, yeah. I guess it has raised it's roughly around forty thousand dollars, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And uh, they really are a key player, not only for donating to the project, but they're mm -hmm. also boots and eyes on the ground. So mm -hmm. if there is a need or something's happening on the river, please let us know. And you see it. You're you're seeing exactly, the patterns yeah. and behaviors probably more than us biologists who are really focused in on the projects when we have them on the go. Yeah, totally. So we, we want to work closer with anglers. Yeah, totally, yeah. Um, so I actually live not too far from here, I was telling you earlier. Yeah. Um, me and the kids actually bike down this way in the summertime quite often. And so over the last few years, we've seen the development of these projects and it's really nice to see how everything's coming together. It's, so. that's awesome. Yeah. Glad to hear it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so if people want more information on volunteer opportunities yeah. um, and other programs that I guess the Fraser Valley Watershed Coalition is doing, mm -hmm. um, how would they find out about it? Great question. Yeah. So we are, we have a website. You can visit us at fvwc.ca and you can email us at info at fvwc fvwc.ca yeah. okay, yeah. We'll put it on the bottom anyway so yeah. for you guys to see. Yeah. And uh, connect with us. We have a mail out list that you can join up on. Uh, we always are looking for volunteers. Mm -hmm. We really do a lot of tree planting because we believe our actions are they're our strongest asset. So if you really want to dig in and help us build salmon habitat, that's what we want. We also monitor habitats and uh, do a lot of outreach. So we are always welcoming folks to Great. lend a hand. And stay connected to the social media because you do post any events coming up as well. Exactly, yep. yeah. And um, and we're very happy to be working with you guys um, through all these projects as well. So thank you for having us today. And thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, um, we had the kids out today and just planted a few trees. It wasn't a huge amount compared to what other people were doing, but still, I think the whole idea was they get a sense, they, they were connected to what you guys are doing today. So. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so. amazing. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.